Hello, this is a quick demonstration on how to use just released Varnin directory. So first we go to the directory and as you can see there are quite a few add-ons for Varnin. So let's pick one of these. So let's see, uh, Varnin timeline. For example this one is for uh, showing timelines and graphs like this. Okay. So, let's go and download this one, like this, and let's see what we downloaded. So basically it's a package where all the contents, like documentation and licenses and, and so forth, are packaged in, in one zip file for the add-on. Uh, the most important thing is, is var in timeline jar file. This is actually the whole plugin or whole add-on that you can use in your bread. So let's create a new bread. So new body bread here and let's call it hot stocks and we'll prefer to use the stable varden 6.2.6 version and just create the bread. As you have used Vardin before, you have seen that the Eclipse plugin just creates a bread structure and kind of application stub for you. But what we have want to do here is to add our new add-on to the bread. And this is done as easily as just go and drag and drop the new jar file in the library. And after that, Eclipse asks whether you want to recompile the widget set. So we say compile the widget set. And this step runs the GBT compiler and integrates the Varden timeline we downloaded automatically into your widget set. So as you can see, it's compiling here in the bottom. It takes a while, but the good side is that you only have to compile once when you add a new widget into your application. So let's wait for a while to get it recompiled. Okay, finally the recompilation finished. So what we do next is code our application. Actually I have prepared small test application here. Uh, first we create the new timeline add-on that we just downloaded and then create a couple of stock data sets that we are going to show in the timeline. So basically one for Apple and one for Google. Uh, add those uh, data sets into the timeline and then do some configuration like setting the legends and, and colors and uh, line thickness and so forth. The actual data sets are created here, just randomly generates the stock data so in a real world application it would connect the data or fetch the data from the stock exchange. Okay, but I think we can now save and run the application. So you run the application as you would run any Vardin application. Just add run in the server and yes we want to use the Tomcat 6. Uh, and here we are. So now we have created stocks application that only shows this one timeline widget. And you can go through the data, zoom in with scroll wheel and, and do all kind of stuff with the widget. So this is how easy it is to create new applications that use Varden add-ons from the Varden directory. Go and try it by yourself. Thanks.